this just in. The February Revolution has begun. Sharks and protests break out in Petrograd. Yes, it's true. Tsar Nicholas II advocates and includes his son. The following day, Nicholas's brother, Mikhaili, announced he will deny the throne. Will this mean we have a provisional government? And what will this mean for the Russian people? Let's go live to field reporter Nicole for the inside scoop. Thanks, Jack and Audrey. Yes, the Russian Revolution has begun. Will citizens overthrow the Tsar? And what form of government will we switch to? Breaking news, Vladimir Lenin has returned from exile and is currently in Petrograd. Now, with an interview from our Tsar. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no. Really? Tsar oh. Nicholas II, what is currently happening in Russia? Well, as you may have heard, I abdicated and included my son. And sadly, my poor brother, Mickey Holly, has denied the throne. So, I have no idea what would happen to Russia. Do you think Vladimir will take over? It is my hope that Russia will remain a noble country. And if Vladimir keeps it noble, then yes, he can. Thank you. Back to you guys in the newsroom. And in other news today, the president's dog had puppies. Ah! Wait, I'm getting another breaking news alert. Let's go back to Nicole out in the field. This is in. Russia will have a provisional government, and the Russian people are not happy. Already, more protests have occurred in Petrograd. The Bolsheviks have assured us that they will try to direct these pr protests into a coup. This just in. They failed. Linda will now go into hat. Hiding. Back to you and Audrey. What? Well, thank you, Nicole. More breaking news. Alexander Kerensky will become the Prime Minister of the new provisional government. And we have reached the October Revolution. The Bolsheviks have taken over Petrograd and the Winter Palace. Is the last holdout of the provisional government has been taken by the Bolsheviks. Led by none other than Vladimir Lenin. Lenin is now in control of Russia. Let's get a new cool who has an interview with Russia's new leader. Thanks, Audrey. I'm standing here with the new leader of Russia, Vladimir Lenin. Mr. Lenin, what is your goal for Russia this year? Well, I predict World War I will be out of the war by March 3rd. And I would like to change the name of the Bolsheviks party to something Americans can actually pronounce. How about the Communist Party? Yes, we will go with that. That is exactly how it happened. Mr. Lennon, if I may ask, will St. Petersburg remain the capital of Russia and when will Russians get the Civil War? I would like to change the capital to Moscow by March 11th. And a civil war will begin in June of the same year. Back to you guys. This just in. Today, July 17th, Caesar Nicholas II and his entire family are executed. And on August 30th, an assassination attempt leaves Lenin seriously wounded. Right now, we have an interview with the different armies that are in supporting of the different sides of Russia, the White Army and the Red Army. Let's go live and interview one of both armies. We are here with two dashing young ladies who are in support of different armies. You there in the white. What is the white army supporting in this war? Anti-communism. All right. And you in the red, what are you supporting in this war? Pro-communism. You heard it here first. Today, December 15th, Lennon has suffered his second stroke and plans to retire from politics. And breaking news, Russia has officially been named the Socialist Nation and has been changed to the Union of the so Soviet Socialist Republic. Well, we have covered the Russian Revolution, Audrey.
Thank you to Nicole out in the field, and thank you to Audrey here in the newsroom. I'm Jack Greenwood, and good night, folks.